Hi, it's Miss Peggy from the library, and I'm so happy to be with you now, even through your screen. And we hope to see you again here very, very soon. Excited to see you because we miss you. So this morning, I want to give you some reading tips, reading to your children, as I'm sure that you've been doing. And here's a few things that I want to talk about. Well, you know, we talk about here at the library, we're so passionate about helping you get your children ready for school. And you know, we talk about talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Makes a reader every day. So I want to start with about the simplest board book that we have. We have lots of board books here, as you know, in the rock garden. And they go actually from a reading level of birth to fourth grade. Um, this is a simple one. It's called Colors with our uh, Bright Baby group of books. And um, the first page is just as simple as can be, but very sweet. And you know about reading is actually just a jumping off point for conversation because it's the conversation that you have with your child that is so important. So I would say banana. Now 95% of your child's attention is actually on the picture. So they might think that you're reading the picture. So I point out sometimes banana banana, the word, just the beginning of print awareness, and they start to learn that text goes from left to right, and it's yellow. It's a yellow banana on a yellow page, and so we just talk about the banana, and we say it's curved, and learning shapes is very important. I could talk for half an hour about that, that children first learn their letters by the shapes, triangles, circles, lines, and so forth. And then we would say, and the banana is smooth, isn't it? It's smooth like this book, or smooth like our table. It's smooth and it's really yummy. Remember when we ate a banana yesterday and we peeled it, we peeled off the peel and Remember, yesterday was the best when we had our banana with ice cream and chocolate syrup. And so just by this, having this conversation, you're reminiscing, activating their prior knowledge, and your shared storytelling is what's really important in your conversation about this simple picture. And the more that they connect reading with enjoyment, that helps them stick with reading, learning to read when they go to school. Stick with that more. And um, it's just part of the nurturing, learning together that's so important. I'll just show you another little, the last page here is this white kitten, kitten. And it's soft, isn't it? And it's white. And remember, grandma has a white kitten and when we go to her house and we were so happy and laughing watching the kitten ch chasing after those toys now see we've incorporated mental um emotional about our happiness social connections all within this very simple little board book and we talk about um as your child develops that you know they answer your yes or no questions and and pretty soon you know a longer question they can answer about this orange goldfish and then it encourages them as they have more verbal skills that they ask you questions and so this little simple board book um, can go from ages of birth to three or four and could become one of their favorite books because they've enjoyed that learning time with you. So.